Well, we're on Cold Spring Lane right now in North Baltimore. Uh, we're, as you can see right here, light just turned green. We were at a stoplight, but the roads are pretty wet. Um, we did see some power crews. You mentioned down power lines. We did see some power crews along this road um, a little bit further back, maybe about two minutes back. Um, but we were or we are expecting um, some more rain to move in um, through midnight. Um, it hasn't been too bad throughout the day. It's been pretty steady, but all of this has been causing headaches for people out on the roads. It's been a wet few days for Charm City. Drivers tell us that all the rain and wind, along with the extra traffic as a result of the key bridge collapse, is making their commutes even longer. There's so much traffic and I was just on the highway actually. The highway's pretty bad, like 695. It's hard to commute and then deal with the rain and deal with the mood, the mood that you get from the rain. It, it kind of sucks. The wet weather has even lit the ponding in some parts of the city, like Carroll Park. We also saw several down trees today, like this tree that came down near Park Heights Avenue in Pikesville, and this one that came down on Charles Street in Towson. And that's not all. Several power lines came down in Jarrettsville as well. And here in Baltimore, this tree came down near the Washington Monument in Mount Vernon that, according to the Mount Vernon Place Conservancy, was planted more than 100 years ago. It's not just a tree. <laughs> Aislinn Wright lives in the area and says that she is one of many who has fond memories of this tree. I'm very sad because <laughs> this is a staple for us. It's a very, you know, it makes the park look pretty. She's just beautiful. You know, it's just something spiritual about her. Back here on Live Drive 11 along Cold Spring Lane. Again, some wet roads out here, but thankfully the rain is expected to clear up tomorrow and we're even expecting some sunshine this weekend. Reporting live in Live Drive 11, Kyrie Stewart, WBAL TV 11 News.